are back online for our first ever live in English. Yes, welcome. I'm Kelly Amuzu from Togo, and I'm here to engage us in the conversations that matter and that create healing in our African cultures. I am excited to be here with you on this beautiful Saturday to have our first live. Our guest, as you can see, there's a chair right here next to me because in a few minutes, our guest of the day, Elona Holland, is going to join us. By the way, we just had our first French live. It was fantastic. Who is here? Tell me who's here. Write your comments. Invite your friends. Tell everybody that there's a big party going on over here at Africa Emotions with Kelly. I am excited to bring the guest of the day. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to wait a couple minutes for a few uh, more people to come online with us. Forgive me if I'm looking down at some point. That is because I am looking at everything and making sure that I have all the good information that I want to share with you. Um, who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Is Lina and Sujin here? Tell me where you're watching us from. Uh, what country are you from? What country do you live in? Uh, if you're just joining us, my name is Kelly Amuzo. I am originally from Togo, and I'm here to engage us in conversations that matter. This is our first live on the platform, the Africa Emotions platforms in English. We just had our first live in French. It went very fantastic. I am excited uh, to have this conversation with our with our guest. Yes, welcome, welcome. I see you popping in. Tell me, tell me where you're coming from. Where are you watching us from? Um, and uh, invite your friends, invite your friends. So let me tell you what we are about to do today. I'll tell you a little bit of our plan. I will tell you a little bit about myself. Some of you may not know me. And then I will tell you about a freak emotions, right? What is a freak emotions? What is the purpose behind it? And then uh, we will have our conversation with our guest of the day, Ilona Holland, holistic wellness, therapist. And I will share some information with you about how you can stay connected with us um, because we have a very fantastic tool on our website where you can get all the information about everything that's going on on the platform. So invite your friends. Tell me where you're watching from. What country are you from? Where are you watching us from? I would be very, very happy to know who is with us, okay? Well, my name is Kelly Amuzu. As I said earlier, I am originally from Togo. And I am a lover of life and a lover of our ability as human beings to transform our experience as human beings, only when we become aware of that power, which is why I created this platform. African Emotions is a platform where we will get into those real deep conversations about what is not working for us as an African people in the diaspora and on the continent. And for that, uh, to start us off, I chose the topic of single parenthood for a couple of reasons. Well, if you're watching us, if you're here now, or if you are watching later, tell me how many parents do you know? Think about 10 parents, 10 people who are your friends, who are parents. How many of them are single? How many of them are separated from the other parent? If you can put that in the comments, whether you're watching now with us live or whether you're watching later, put that in the comments and that tells you a little bit about what's really what we are observing in our African cultures and environment. There is more and more single parent um, households. Why? I was asked recently. I cannot tell you why. And actually, that's one of the reasons why I created this show. So we can talk about it. So we can observe it. So we can understand it. And then the the, the other deep reason is that 
In our African culture, being a single parent is looked down upon. It is judged. It is stigmatized. And I would like for us to talk about that. I would like for us to learn about what is it really? What does it mean to be a single parent emotionally, spiritually, physically? What does it really entail? Because many people judge without knowing the reality of what's really happening, without knowing the stories of people. So I want to create I wanted to create a platform where the people would come and learn about those truths and the people who are single parents who are still going through what I call the healing journey would have a place where they could come and not feel judged would have a place where they would come and feel heard and understood and why not receive resources and information which is why this is how the season is going to go so every Sunday we will have a new episode starting next Sunday and guess what all the episodes in French are subtitled in English. Yes, I got you. <laughs> there it is. There is our schedule. There it is. So next Sunday, Beatrice Alavo, she's from Togo, and I tried to have guests from different countries, right? African countries. It's seven different African countries represented here. Um, every Sunday at 4 p.m. GMT, that is 10 a.m. CST, um, Central uh, Time here in the U.S., uh, you will have a new episode. And you can receive those straight to your email. I can show you, I will show you in a little bit how you do that to get them straight in your email. So you don't have to remember, oh, today is African Emotions. What time is it again? You will get it if you just go to the website and I'll show you that in a little bit. So every Sunday we're having a new episode where I'm having a conversation with a single parent or someone who has been in the past a single parent or someone who has um, had a period in their life where they were raising their child alone. And we're talking about their truths, but this is what happens. Anytime you have a sharing of experience, of a human experience, you're going to hear things that other human beings are going to recognize themselves with. So in these 12 conversations, you're going to hear things, even if you're not a single parent, at some point in your life, you had financial tr troubles. <laughs> uh, you might have been depressed. So depression, finances, um, suicidal thoughts, uh, domestic violence, Okay, um, the loss of self-confidence. Those are all things that we experience through different experiences in life. This season is just focusing on single parents who are telling us those different things that they experience from the lenses of having to deal with all that while raising one or multiple human beings. Okay. Hello. Hello, mom. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> hey, guys. Invite your friends. Tell them that we're alive. Tell them that we're about to have a very constructive, useful, productive, and positive conversation with our guest, Ilana. And I was walking you through the program of the week, of the, of the season, sorry. So there it is. So in between every episode, you know, we have them uh, on Sunday. In between the episodes, every two or three weeks, we will do live shows. Shut such as this one, live shows where I will do my best to bring you some resources, some people that have interesting and useful things to share about their experience, about their expertise, so that we keep growing our community. And this is a conversation with you. I want you to talk to us, tell us what you're hearing, what questions you have, what thoughts you're having, what other topics we need to be talking about because this is not just me talking to myself in front of a camera, right? <laughs> I want to take a minute, now that you know a little bit about how things will go, you know, we started um, communicating about African emotions on January 3rd and we've been received so well by you and by the world and I'm so grateful for that and that happened because of a media partners, of every single one of you who have been sharing all the information that we've been putting out there. I want to thank our social media influencers and specifically our media partners. You see them on the screen, My Africa Info, KPAO Community Television here in Omaha will be showing every episode of African Emotions twice on Tuesday and on Saturday, starting on January 21. 
Thank you, KPAO. Ayana Magazine is a magazine in Ivory Coast. Thank you, thank you so much for your collaboration. El Free, Pensée Noire, Nyadwe Magazine, great, great resources that are all from Togo that we connected with and we are so grateful for you. I want to thank you, Noel. I want to thank you, Mikafri, Binta, Edvige, Océane, Jude, Misakuvi, Efi, every single one of you and everyone who has been sharing our information to get attention and get people interested and get people to see what's happening. I am grateful, grateful, grateful for you. Well, I see that we have a few more people. Please, I'm not talking to myself, am I? Where are you joining us from? What is, uh, what country are you from? Where are you watching us from? And invite your friends, tell them that we're live. In a minute, we're going to have Ilona come sit right here next to me. This is what we're gonna do in the meantime. You know, this very fantastic tool that we have here allows me to show you video clips while we are live. I was baffled in a good way when I found that out. My super, super intelligent brother, Bajo, I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful for you. Thank you for working with us here. Um, he's going to now play a clip of the first episode. No. First episode in English, sorry, second episode of the season. Um, this is an interview actually in English. It will be subtitled in French when we play it um, on the website and on Facebook. So here is a clip. If uh, we are ready, Baju, go ahead and play the clip and then uh, we will come back. I was feeling abandoned. I was mm -hmm. feeling depressed. Mm -hmm. I was not sleeping very well because of all the thoughts in my head, yes. uh, thinking, you know, how am I going to raise this child? You know, am I up to task to yes. do this? Yes. And, um, you know, uh, dealing with the fights and conflicts in mm -hmm. the home mm -hmm. uh, due to my condition. Um, I just felt um, ostracized yeah. and I, I will not lie to you. I, I had suicidal thoughts because wow. I felt like, you know, um, this is not the life that I had dreamed of, yeah. but I will bring this child into this world. And, yeah. uh, but it was still challenging. I was very much still depressed. Wow, I, I can't imagine. So contrary... Hey, here she is. Welcome our guest of the day, Elona. Hi, Thank How are you? you. I am great. It is so good to have you. It's fantastic to be here. Oh, so delighted. Thank yes. you for inviting me. Yes. It's, it's an honor. Yes. To be the first to open this live <laughs> Facebook. Yes, yes, feature. yes. So Elona, so, tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from? What do you do? What magical gifts do you have? <laughs> My life actually started on the island of Malta. Ah. Um, spelled M-A-L-T-A. -A. Yes. And that's located between Sicily and North Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, born to uh, mom and dad, they're raised, raised on the island. And then I left the island around the age of 18 and okay. started traveling. And uh, I started in the fitness and wellness industry. Mm -hmm. So it was, always, it was always sports and leisure and fitness mm -hmm. and wellness. And my, my journey progressed from there. Mm -hmm. And it was... Uh, a little bit of my own journey as well that got me yeah. curious. Uh, two amazing parents mm -hmm. that uh, left me with a curiosity about mm -hmm. why are the way you know why are they the way they are? They are, are. Huh. and siblings. You're and being people. nice. Yeah. <laughs> now Go I ahead. can be nice. Now you can be nice. Can be. <laughs> I'm uh, reading between the lines. <laughs> Two siblings that, <laughs> that drive you crazy. If anyone has siblings, you know, and then you get older and you really understand where all of that was coming from. Yeah. But I left and traveled the world. I've, I've not counted the countries I've been to, mm. but about 30 plus and lived in, in a wow. lot of them. And then uh, in 2008, I met my now husband, mm -hmm. Eric, uh, who's from uh, our, our local community here. Yeah, in and Iowa. So, yeah, mm -hmm. here in Iowa. Uh -huh. And we we set up a life here. We have two nice. children and I own a holistic wellness business, which is yes. my story, but my 
my gifts revealed to me over time and then now in a good place having done the self work being able to share these with everyone around us and now you know thanks to this these platforms amazing. you can reach the whole world the internet so is just amazing well thank you ilona hey we just watched the first clip of my conversation of episode number two mm -hmm. with Akosiwa, mm -hmm. who's sharing with us how when she became pregnant and decided not to stay with the father of her child and she wasn't married yeah that's a lot of information already i'm not giving away the whole episode but just this little piece right and she shared um, this herself correct when yes she was only, yeah. absolutely and you will see all of this don't miss episode number two okay well don't miss number one next sunday and then number two <laughs> the sunday after right uh, but i wanted to use this this clip as a reference because we, what we're going to talk about is is so relevantly you know, uh, spelled out by Kosiwa. She she mentions um, how society's reaction to her choice of becoming a single mom uh, literally drove her into depression. And she had suicidal thoughts and she felt ostracized. And I wanted for you to break it down for us. What does that mean for a human being? Because I want to use this platform to educate, as I said earlier, um, about the depth of what those things mean, because we have a tendency as Africans to dismiss our experience. We dismiss it and we say, oh, no, that's nothing. Oh, yeah, uh, what's she talking about? She's depressed. That's white people stuff. Honestly, that's what we say <laughs> with all the, 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 that's what we say. So I want you to, when somebody says I'm depressed, I feel ostracized. Um, I wanted to kill myself. Can you, from your knowledge and experience now, break it down for us what's really happening from your perspective? Well, now now to sit here, you know, mm -hmm. in this in this moment in life, yeah. um, when you asked me to come on here, Kelly, and, mm -hmm. and it's a specific you know, group that you're targeting, yes. single parents, be it moms, mm -hmm. uh, females or males, you're targeting mm -hmm. single parents. Mm -hmm. You know, how would I be able to relate? I'm not a single parent. Mm -hmm. I uh, married and I have two children and I have a fabulous, you know, spouse. Mm -hmm. However, along the way, mm -hmm. with the, the, you know, work I do, that is irrelevant, you know. A name is a name. Our nationality is just our nationality, you mm -hmm. know. Our experience mm -hmm. is... It's just an experience as humans mm -hmm. so if i'm going to just identify with groups of people that are like me so to speak mm -hmm. that's that's you know um not going to work how can i mm -hmm. offer something to single parents mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, what we do at life dimensions and i would like to offer offer here is that we all are one yeah regardless of where you are there's a mind there's a heart there's a soul mm -hmm. And so it is valid to say that, um, I apologize, the, the lady that was talking, her name? Akosiwa. Akosiwa. Mm -hmm. Akosiwa is mm -hmm. speaking of something that everyone, yes, that's incorrect to say, but let's say most of us, at right, some point in our at some life, point, mm -hmm. have experienced depression. Mm -hmm. the, the desire to end this, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you want to end mm -hmm. this or have mm -hmm. that feeling if you are... Uh, sensing isolation yes. you do not see a way out yes. you're backed up in a corner to mm -hmm. the point where that is it mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we have felt this mm -hmm. and so those are feelings that are valid yeah what we often find or what i have experienced is that we do not want to be with this feeling yes and we want to get out of it and the yes. desperation to get out of it mm -hmm. is what causes then certain actions to take place uh -huh. with mindfulness for example one of the things that life dimensions brings in meditation we are able to be with the feeling uh -huh. with further exercises and ways to dive into and lean into mm -hmm. supported exercises proper questioning and introspection mm -hmm. we can come to really illuminate the experience okay. to feel the feelings 
to be like oh. they might be amplified the okay. depression might feel amplified it might be diminished mm -hmm. we're not attaching to that but we are using it as a platform to further understand pause you said feel the feeling that's something us africans are not used to feelings in the african community is bad you're not supposed to have feelings how do I feel my feeling? <laughs> I, would, I would bet you that I would bet you that whoever is watching right now, if we have anyone tuning in and watching, that they can identify with that, mm -hmm. even with. if they are not from Africa, with mm -hmm. you know, not feeling. The yes, same yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Good point. You Good know? point. It's a human experience. A, That's what you're telling experience. me. And, and okay. many of us have been conditioned by, yes. for, for example. Yes. Again, not everyone, but many of us mm -hmm. may have been conditioned by our guardians or those mm -hmm. people that were in our lives. Yeah. That out of goodwill, they didn't yes. want us to feel that bad feeling. You yes. know, oh, come on, you're, you're okay. Come yeah, on, yeah. Okay, pull it together. You right, know? I right. Mean, they want the best for us. They don't yes. want to see us suffering, but mm -hmm. they've, they've perhaps cut that cycle. Mm. They've had, cut that process in its way. And again, I, this is not generalizing. There are yes, so yes, many, yes, yes, yes. many other ways, you know? Yes. But then we cut and we cut ah. and we keep cutting. And then we have lost that internal intelligence of how to be huh. feeling. Hey, hey, she's dropping knowledge, my friends. Okay, I'm here to break it down to a uh, layman's term. <laughs> so um, by cutting, you mean, when I'm feeling something, I'm feeling that I'm not okay. I know that I'm not okay. But I've been, as you said, conditioned to say, oh, well, no, you're fine. You're okay. It's all right. Since your childhood, you learn to not even at some point even realize that you're not okay. For some people, that happens. Or you can say it and then you deny it because you say you, you've learned to cut, cut the process. You say there is a process and this process is natural. Tell us about that process. It's like anything, you know, so anything scientific, take a plant, take mm -hmm. a tree. You know, there's no desperation or worry. The mm -hmm. flower knows that it has to be a seed. It will grow. It will, mm -hmm. it will die. And there are, there's, yeah. a, there's that growth and death. There Nature. are those cycles happening inside yeah, of ourselves. Naturally. All the time. Yeah. So so we have people that are reaching that, that full circle, you know, and then it feels like they're dying inside mm. only to reemerge in another cycle of life at oh. like three years later. Perhaps they took a three-year cycle. There's different, there's different cycles. So what you're saying is my pain right now is a cycle. It's part of, it's the, part cycle. of the cycle that if I just Stick with it and learn to deal with it versus trying to push it away, I will eventually get to the other side of the cycle, which will it's be it, it's natural. It's going to come. Ah, what now, makes it longer is when we're fighting this. It it will come. It will be a bit longer if you're going to if you're going to resist it. That's yeah. okay. And and you know, with that length. Any yeah. anything that seems dark, let's say, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, anything that seems dark mm -hmm. or or fearful mm -hmm. has its blessings. The sun was say up. that again. Say that again, Ilona. Repeat that. Everything, everything dark uh -huh. that's happening to you in your life. It has a blessing. Perhaps you can't see it right now. And you, you know, I mean, how, how can you see it? You know, because the body mm -hmm. is trying to keep you safe. You're yes. in fight or flight. Yes. You're trying to protect yourself, your kid. Mm -hmm. it, it's in fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Someone from a distance, mm -hmm. like perhaps myself, because people come see us. And obviously I'm not, that, I'm not attached, you know, right. this situation is not impacting. My adrenals aren't firing off. Right. Um, Right. I'm able to keep a neutral and loving stance, mm. but I can see, I can be like, oh my gosh, this person is going to rock. You uh -huh. know? They're going to get through it. They're going to rock. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm breathing, but it, they're getting there, you mm -hmm. know, in that darkness, mm -hmm. there's going to be blessing. They will, most times, most mm -hmm. times, a lot of clients of ours come back and they say, oh my gosh, 
Mm. Now I now I see I understand what you were seeing. Mm. But it's not for me to say, hey, I see this. No. Because then we're we're leaving that yeah. projection, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll yeah, come yeah, to that yeah. understanding um uh, with with very simple tools because then that's the desperation mm -hmm. as well when you're listening you think like okay so what do i need what do you yes, need yes yes you need yes. you you know you don't need anything but like mm -hmm. i said just the simply the mindfulness mm -hmm. that uh connection with us and people in your community there is mm -hmm. going to be someone for sure in your community and mm -hmm. if you feel like right now there isn't we are here <laughs> what is mindfulness you've used that term a couple of times what is mindfulness so i love i love the uh, term that my mentor and teacher uses and he says you know being aware of what you're doing as you're doing it in mm. every sense being aware of everything that is happening you know feeling your body as you're moving i'm seeing the words flowing through me as they're flowing out being mm -hmm. very conscious and aware which we are not trained to do <laughs> <laughs> we are we are looking outward yes looking outwards. we look we are trained and conditioned as humans to look outwards and i can confirm to you like from the african perspective it's i feel like it's even worse because we spend um a lot of our time worrying so much about what other people will think mm -hmm. and say so every single decision that we're making about everything about us has to do with somebody else's thought somebody else's uh, uh expectation somebody else's uh our worry of what they will they will say they will, yeah. so what you are saying here is is it's introducing something new to many people on uh, our platform i am anticipating that that's why i asked the question what is mindfulness being able you say being able to know and feel what is what, happening what's happening as it is happening as what is you happening. are doing so even if something an emotion is rising in you mm -hmm. to be able to notice that mm -hmm. and just watch it as an observer as a witness you know okay we practice that so not being you know if you're in a very uh, heightened um fight or flight inducing situation that's not going to be the best time to practice so to speak uh oh to calm yourself down. But so taking, it's when it's harder that you get to truly practice it you're going when to things it, get hard but then to take uh, time aside of that so so uh -huh. setting a time carving out you know a minute a day uh, -huh. uh well what's it worth to me carving out a minute a day yes. you are needed in this world yeah. you and this child that you're taking care of yeah and their 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 uh you know parents that has perhaps stepped out of the picture or by choice you stepped out of the picture mm -hmm. everyone is needed mm -hmm. even those per people that are um ostracizing you and and yeah. i know yeah. someone's gonna throw something at me it's a good yeah. job we're live right now yes <laughs> but everyone is needed in this world yeah. and you are here for a purpose mm -hmm. okay um and it's it's important to remember that so when you sit for this one minute there's a big picture that perhaps you cannot right now see what your purpose mm -hmm. and calling is mm -hmm. but sitting there focusing maybe on the breath just following the breath, setting mm -hmm. a timer, mm -hmm. and just following the breath. And whatever comes, notice the qualities of that breath. That's helping you to cultivate the ability and perseverance to be with those feelings when they get hard. Okay. And to be able to be okay with it. So even in that one minute, if I have negative thoughts, it's That's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Just come mm -hmm. quickly back Don't to the breath. Don't fight it. Mm -hmm. because everything up until this point as you look is in perfect order see that's the notion i would like to introduce to it's imperfect to this. It's a, it's what do you mean by that it's in perfect order what does that mean you know if i chose to do something today and it, it produced a result that wasn't yes. quite to my vibration yes i noticed it uh-huh and I'm going to make the necessary changes. Okay. From this point. Pause. Example. Okay. Let's take one of our guests, for example. They were married, okay, in a very nice, lavish wedding. And that was a choice that they made to marry this person. And then turned out a couple months into the marriage, it becomes a violent situation. How do you apply what you just said to that? So, Meaning, how is that perfect order? 
you see this yeah that's that's the challenge we go through right okay. you're like well this is my choice yes but how come i get this result with all my good intentions you know how do you how what can you how can you help us understand the connection mm -hmm. yes so there's you know there's a reason again it, it's uh you know it's a story that i don't know much about so let's yeah i just it. brushed i just brushed you so uh, we're, we're going over uh -huh. a really you know like skimming the surface uh -huh, uh -huh, slightly uh -huh. that's it you're presented with that situation where you're mm -hmm. here now going to make a choice because how how severe is the violence you know do you mm -hmm. need to make a choice that yes mm -hmm. i am leaving for the safety mm -hmm. you know i'm not leaving forever necessarily mm. you know so you're being you're you're seeing what is happening you're not leaving from an emotional standpoint of ah you know that's what it's typically a wise, happens though mm -hmm. so the yeah. the choice when you cultivate yeah. this mindfulness practice uh -huh. what is happening is you're also amplifying two things you're you're creating that sense of concentration yes which means that one minute today two minutes tomorrow you're working to enhance that uh -huh. so that you once you you work on other things and that's for uh -huh. another episode yes <laughs> you're there's so many to, things uh -huh. and you know you're working on the other side uh -huh. to find out your true purpose and calling on this earth right why is, does the world need you yes okay? getting clear about that so yes. that's that's the side but uh -huh. right now what we're cultivating through mindfulness is the concentration uh -huh. by amplifying that practice you're able to be with anything that's icky and adrenaline inducing hmm. uh controlling the breath you're able to stay focused and be like it's okay this is happening okay not yeah. that you see not that you see the violence and you'll be like okay i can be okay no. <laughs> no. he's but beating now, me she's beating me but now you are going to take a decision rather than is emotionally like you know frantic emotion mm -hmm. you are going to take a wise decision now suddenly wisdom is coming to the surface mm -hmm. And you are, and I'm not, you know, I'm not making this up. These no, are no, through no. my teachings Absolutely. and studies and so Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Then that wisdom is surfacing. You're going to take a wise choice. So mm. rather than running out and making a lot of mm. crazy decisions in your in your in your exit mm -hmm. that are going to cause even more turmoil, mm -hmm. you're going to do it from a loving space. Even though you're getting beaten. Damn. you're going to you're going that to that requires you to oh goodness. so if, however if you're if you're in a spot where you're feeling so very um isolated you know yeah. how do you find yeah. that strength yeah how exactly i was going to tell you because for somebody to put their hand on another person and the person feels so helpless it, it i can imagine it would take so much practice and effort to get to that point or am um, is it is this a misconception that it can be so hard when you find yourself in that position yes. where your human self is completely torn down your self-confidence is gone you feel torn down yeah but this is why we're starting today yeah. to be able to reach out to us my team your team mm -hmm. my team can offer energetic vibrations and good uh you know support support okay they contact us okay and they would like us to um send to a specific intention the energy that they need uh -huh. oh my goodness well now alone is not available online what am i going to do uh -huh. begin for yourself okay. calling upon the strength of wherever you connect that oh. higher source okay okay so that okay. you can pull in that good energy mm -hmm. it might again it might be God for you. Mm -hmm. It might be universe. It mm -hmm. might be nature. Mm -hmm. It might be uh, an ancestor or someone that has passed on mm -hmm. that, that, you know, a grandma or a grandpa, you know, that mm -hmm. are of solid strength to you in your mm -hmm. life. You knew mm -hmm. they were uh, going to send you good energy and they wish you well. So yeah. call upon those. You okay. have assistance from all over, mm -hmm. from all over. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting point. And we set that intention to be able to sit and mindfully breathe and practice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mindfulness, if you like to dance, other other ways. Yes. It doesn't have to be just sitting and following the breath. Okay. It can be many variety of ways. Examples. Something so that dancing, if you so like I to, love dance. to dance. That really gets me. Yes, up. yes. Some good positive uh music. Surround yourself yes. with that. You know, get get that music going and start dancing mm -hmm. feel the movement of us across an ocean we're across mm -hmm. the atlantic ocean mm -hmm. connected with you mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. working up that energy okay. for your highest good, the highest good of all those other parents that are not in the picture, the highest good of the parents, the community, hmm. and everyone. Mm -hmm. So you are um, one simple, simple tool that you're already sharing with us is this one minute a day, one minute a day where you are in quietness by yourself and you just breathing in and out observing your breath listening to your breath and just allowing any thoughts to be you know in i go back to our culture because that's what i know <laughs> in our culture some will call that prayer so the thing we're talking about here, it has many names based on how you call it. And it's absolutely okay. If it's a moment of prayer for you, that's perfect. So if, yeah, go yeah, ahead. So excuse the interruption, but mm -hmm. a lot of people ask me, you know, mm -hmm. so am mm -hmm. I praying? Do I do anything? Mm -hmm. And I said, um, again, if you believe in God, mm -hmm. God will work mm -hmm. through you. Mm -hmm. So take mm -hmm. this suggestion. Mm -hmm. It's called mindfulness, mm -hmm. um, mindfulness of the breath. Mm -hmm. We're not slowing down or increasing the breath. We're not doing anything with the breath. We're just sitting. Mm -hmm. And as it happens to come in, you know, flow in and out, mm -hmm. it's presenting itself as it is. Mm -hmm. If you feel prayer comes in, just observe that prayer came in. If mm -hmm. you feel that, so the, the mind will take us. Yes. Yes. Trying to cultivate, yes, that concentration on just one point. So ah. let's say then you come to the breath and it's it's not satis you know, you want to focus on something else. Then focus on a part of your body, let's say the chin. Okay. So there has okay. to be like a point, a point of, of focus. focus. So that we can cultivate ah. the concentration to uh -huh. be able to be with the icky feelings that come in yes. throughout your life, where yes. then you're able to see that feeling, mm -hmm. but be able to act in wisdom hmm. and not add on. How much practice does it take to get to the point where you get to act with wisdom right away? Because there is no time, sister. <laughs> no time. It's unique for everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. There's no timeline. It's going to be. Mm -hmm. different now mm -hmm. if someone is thinking one minute oh 10 seconds start with five <laughs> wow start with three that's seconds. amazing yeah start with one second mm -hmm. start mm -hmm. with something mm -hmm. i see i see a comment by regina who says we don't usually expect things to turn bad or worse regina my dear i cannot understand what you mean she probably wrote it when you were speaking and i wasn't yes. paying attention can you tell us what you were referring to we'd like to respond to what uh, you're referring to there um so um again i i um, thank you all for joining us. I see there's a few of you. Hey, tell us where you're joining us from. Where are you from and what country are you watching us from? Um, uh, welcome. This is the first live in English of Afri Afric Emotions, the show, a show that I created for us to start learning to have conversations about those things that we consider taboo in our African cultures. I'm Kelly Amuzu, and this is and my guest today, Ilona Holland, who is a holistic wellness therapist. She's here to start introducing us to some different tools, a little bit of a new understanding of our experiences as humans, especially our painful experiences as humans. Ilona was saying earlier that every single one of you has tools already in your system as a being to deal with whatever it is that you are facing. And I was noticing, or I was um, um, speaking out about how society, the way we interact now with each other, teaches us that those tools or those solutions that we need are on the outside of ourselves. And we are here to introduce us to the concept that those solutions are truly on the inside. Did I get that right? Yes. Yeah, they are on the inside and stay connected with us. We will learn together. The first small thing that Ilana already introduced to us to get to that point where we are in tune with those solutions inside of us 
is practicing mindfulness and breathing. How do you call it? Um, uh, focused breathing. So yeah. pinpointed focus or okay. concentration or concentration. just a, a breath work. Um, uh -huh. So it can be breath work if you see that that's not working out. You uh -huh. can just pick a point on the body. Okay. Um, okay. Like the navel or even a point on, on the wall where okay. you're it you focus can be anything as long as you choose i like to keep the body or the breath because yeah. again we don't go external yes we start internal and yes. we focus on something yes and then you're setting your timer yes anywhere. for how long at least one minute uh, ideally one minute try yes. with one minute if with you can do more than one minute but start with one minute I would one minute every day one minute every day okay what time of the day as soon as they wake up. Ah, that's the best. When you wake up in the morning. And another one okay. before they go to bed. Okay. If you are ambitious, okay, start one a day. Let's do this. How about every one of you watching us now, you're going to say, okay, this is this, this is a little challenge, right? For one time every day for the next week, I want you guys to try mindful breathing for one minute a day for the next seven days. And then you come back on the page, you come back to this very live and you put down a comment. And Ilona and I would see your comments and we'll respond to you. How about that? Yes. Yeah, even if you're watching us, you're not live with us right now, you're watching us. If, okay, here's another thing. I strongly believe in this. If you're hearing this now, it means you need it. You're here for a reason. <laughs> right. We're no, here yeah. together for right. a reason. We're you know? here together for a reason, right? Whether you watch this live or you watch it, you know, in, in a few days or so, this fell into your life by perfect uh, order. It came into your life for a purpose. So, Ilona, Can again. Can I add one more thing yes. to the challenge very quick? Uh -huh. And also after the seven days. Uh -huh. Just come in, whether you did that practice or not, uh -huh. just leave us with your comments on yes. how that was met. Was it difficult or not? Tell us how that went. When you really tried that one minute a day, did you say, oh my God, what is this again? Anything, anything. <laughs> just give us, give us your, your feedback. Any of your experience. Yes. Um, that That's a great, um, simple tool. You know, uh, I keep going back to the experience that I'm used to as a culture um, because it, it is so deep and so strong. Mm -hmm. And it's what encouraged me to, what pushed me to create this platform. Like I discovered all the things that you were talking about through a very painful life experience. I didn't know about the importance of knowing how to focus on one single thing at a time mm -hmm. and understanding how when you do that on a daily basis, it, it amplifies your ability to connect to your natural resources inside of you. It was a few years process for me to get it. That's why I keep asking the question, what does this mean? How do you do it? Because I know how hard it can be for people and not just Africans, for us humans, <laughs> right? You know, for, for you now, it's natural because you've done this work. And it's not the end. You know, it's ongoing for me as well. Aha! It's ongoing. You for see? as long as I am blessed to be on this to earth. To be breathing. Yes. I will continue. Yes. So. But it becomes, I do want to share this, it does become easier. You know, actually, this was one thing that someone said. The first thing that I, that happened to me entering 2020, mm -hmm. I just realized I'm actually excited mm -hmm. for anxiety and depression and these kind of sensations when oh, they crop up. Oh, why? And that is again something that is is another you know topic on its own. Mm -hmm. To come to love the shadow parts, mm. those parts of you, those dark parts, whether you carried in mm. uh, through your birth, whether they came in genetically, whether they came in energetically. Mm. Uh, there's so many things that we can open that up to. But mm -hmm. I was now I get excited. I'm you know mm. I'm sitting with my journal, yeah. and my husband says. You've been to the restroom ten times. Already. Uh -huh. What are you doing? You know, 
And I said, oh, it's you again. I'm, I'm, I'm coming, honey. You know? It's exciting. You're just, you're just exploring this. Yeah. You know, you're exploring this and you're finding out. Mm. You're, you're shedding those layers. Yes. And you're really uh, standing in your light. Yeah. So being, learning to be comfortable with the mess, as I call it. Yes, and and then once you discover your light, anything that happens is no, n you know, no uh, challenge mm -hmm. or, or you know you you you're coming and you're standing there and and, and you just possible. see it and look at she makes it sound so easy, right, people? We have each other. <laughs> we have each other. That's how it's easy. I have a ton of people, mentors, therapists. Mm -hmm. I have a team. Of, of wellness practitioners that, that take care of me, my yes. tribe, as, as many of us call it. We have our yes. tribe yes. of men and women. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I would not do it without them. I show yeah. up. And if you show yeah. up, so yeah. if you find yeah. that mindfulness practice to be a little bit of a, you know, a, you need a kickstart, reach out to Kelly yes. or myself. Oh, Ilana, yes. And we can send that good energy. We Specify will... your intention privately. You can message yes. me on Facebook. Yes, yes. What's your Facebook page? We, we will we will find the link to our, yeah. your, your Facebook page and, and drop it in the comments yeah. here. It's What's the... Uh -huh. Life Dimensions by Ilona. Life Dimensions by Ilona. Life Dimensions by Ilona. Uh, we'll look for the link and drop it in the comments here so you can get in touch with. I would love if Regina uh -huh. would. would uh, yeah, would respond us. back to us, Regina, yeah. if you're still live. Um, we'd like to understand what you were what you were referring to by your comment about we don't expect things to turn bad or worse. Um, this has been a, a very... Uh, already enlightening conversation, I'm hoping. For those of you watching us, um, comment if you have questions, comment what were your thoughts, was this confusing? I'd like to know, because I know this is new territory for many, many, many people. I know this is new territory, and that's why I'm so excited about it. That's why I'm daring to bring this to us. Um, even though I know it's not only African people watching us, um, the, the, as you said, my communication is so focused on um, Africans in this first season, specifically African single parents. The tool that you just shared, I can testify was key in my own healing as a human being, in my own healing as a mom who found myself by myself with my child. I will tell you more about that. You stay connected with us. Okay, this is not about me today. Um, aside from the, the, so this is more education for us to know more about what you do. Aside from the little tip that you just gave us, um, one minute a day, and we're all doing the challenge, right? One minute a day, set your timer in quietness and focus on your breath. Do it for the next seven days and come back and tell us how that went. Was it easy? Was it hard? Did you think it was? It felt good? Did you think it felt confusing? We would like to know. So aside from that, what are the other tools? Just so you just give us like a general idea. We, we won't get into all of them. Ilona will be back, especially if you ask us your questions. She will be back to share more tools with us. Um, what are some of the other tools that you use? Uh, again, this is a platform where we're learning something new. So listen, take the information in. Not everything that is shared is meant for you. And that is okay, right? Um, but yeah, I'm just curious what other tools you use to support people in getting into that natural way of sitting in their light, sitting in the knowing that they have the capacity to face life and everything that comes with it. So um, regardless of where you're living, obviously mm -hmm. we're speaking to our mm -hmm. um, African friends mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dive into the things that amplify and get your soul and heart to vibrate again. Meaning right? what makes you happy? So see, that's sophisticated language for us, Ilona. Right? <laughs> Break it down. So, Break it down. There what is, makes, there what is gives you joy? Okay, there's a quick, the quick fix happiness, right? Where we mm, mm, we buy mm. we buy something uh, or we uh, 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 you know we shop online here in the United States. Mm, I, I don't know, you know. That's not what we're talking about, right? That is just a quick, mm, um, mm. 
quick fix and then that that trickles you know mm -hmm. and then we're on to the next thing mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the happiness that we feel that brings mm -hmm. us joy yes you listen to some music it speaks it sends your heart and soul flying mm -hmm. that that eagle that bridges the you mm -hmm. know the earth with the sky that flies and soars mm -hmm. and so it can be different for everyone we ask people when things are happening and you're in fight or flight you're depressed people look at you you say yeah. so what brings you joy and they mm. look at you like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they've lost that condition. they don't know yes we don't know what gives so, us joy anymore might you be able to ask yeah. that question and then use your non-dominant hand so if you are ah. writing with your right hand normally okay ask a question what brings me joy what brings me joy and then use the other hand Aha, to, to, to write, write that and it mm. can why that processing that is slower yes. try and write with your ah, it forces you, you to be slower intentional about that you know i've done that exercise and i never thought about the slowness of it forcing then, me oh yeah, for sure if there are people listening and, and they know more about what what the process yeah um, you know left know, brain right brain, brain thing exactly. too right they right they can contribute their answers yes not please the only one, so yes please dive in yeah so that process then you know and again what comes up there's nothing yeah, wrong yeah. if you get nothing if you get something if yeah. you get totally off topic like where yeah, did that yeah, yeah. From, yeah that's, that's okay in perfect order mm -hmm. and then so we've had i mean I'm, I'm i'm making suggestions here we had people that went for art dancing that took a walk in nature mm -hmm. that uh you know did something completely out of you know if they're more focused on this kind of thing they mm. went and did uh, try something you know, else. swimming they went mm. it, it was different for everybody mm. and they just started to be reborn again mm. it's like they were being reborn and mm. reconnecting mm. with them you know with themselves mm. so mm. so find time and i'm gonna speak directly to my single parents friends single parent friends here i know it is hard for us to find time for ourselves but guess what the more we find the time to do these things the easier everything else becomes so i encourage you find time one do this exercise this is exercise number two technically take a piece of paper write down your question if you're right-handed write the question what brings me joy then you flip your pen to the other hand and you try to answer that and you allow whatever, allow whatever comes to you to pour on the paper. You will discover beautiful things about yourself. Oh, I have done it. You might see the mind come in and tell yes. you yes, uh -huh. so many things. Yes, good things, bad things. Who knows? Who well, knows? Again, it may encourage you. It may uh -huh. stop you. It uh -huh. may uh -huh. bring uh -huh. excuses uh -huh. in. It yeah, may. Yeah bring all sorts and not that only already is practicing mindfulness because exactly. you're becoming aware uh so my yeah. you're thinking so my last thing yes. also the mindfulness yes, yes, can yes. be as you're dancing or as you're you're yes. you know doing art go do something we don't need to be somewhere else do art in your homes wherever yes. you are in your tent in your yes. caravan i don't know wherever you are you don't need paint brushes yes. art it comes in its own form yeah you, know, you can use your hands you can pick up the dust you can create without having to have mm, you don't, basically you don't, you don't necessarily have to spend money to do this mm. i like how you just say things in a sophisticated way i'll break it down for y'all <laughs> <Great>. teamwork <laughs> She speaks the big, you know, sophistication. I'm like, all right, Ilona, let's break it down. <laughs> I'm pulling your legs. Hey, listen, we're close to the end of our conversation. You've been watching us and you didn't say a word to us. I'm so sad. I'd like to read your comments, my friends. I'm so excited that you're here. I asked, who is here? Where are you watching us from? What country are you from? Drop it down in the comment. Yeah, we have people from Accra. And who else? Tell us, okay? Um, we just spent a very beautiful time speaking with Ilana Holland about mindfulness and how it can be a key to help us reconnect with the abilities within ourselves to deal with those painful situations that come. Specifically, as we talk about it in this season, the situation of finding yourself with your child or children separated from the other parent, which is not something that you had wished for 
but it happened. We won't get into too deep today. Yeah, Ilona is gonna Just come back. Saying hi. Yes, we'll be back. And in yes. the meantime, we'll get comments from everyone. We'll get their feedback. Yes, yes, yes. We'll start the connections and continue yes. this conversation, yeah. and then I'll be back with any yes. requests from your viewers. Absolutely. And ours that that uh, will tap send, in. Later. Yes. Send your questions. Remember two exercises this week: one minute a day, every day, breathing in quietness, paying attention to your breath, paying attention to whatever goes on, allowing it to be for one minute every day. And then you come back in seven days and you tell us, how did that go? And then number two, write down on a piece of paper, what brings me joy? Then with your opposite hand, you see, Blandin says this is a new area, so I'm listening carefully. I love you. That's why they were not commenting, because they were listening carefully. So, yes, Blandin, thank you. Yes, Ella, I'm watching. Thanks for the suggestions to raise our vibration. Oh, now you have raised my vibration with your comments. We were not alone. I started feeling, you know, a little lonely here with my sister. <laughs> Hey, Fifi, these are some great information you're sharing. Oh, so you were there and you left us hanging. No, that's perfect. That's that, perfect. that means because, they were listening. I well, love it. You know, they again, everything in perfect order. No one yes. popped up. So we yes. were able to be here yes. completely connected. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, mm -hmm. Fifi, Blandine, mm -hmm. they're immediately, we had three pop ups. Yes. They are the push for yes. the others to come up, right? So yes. those three immediately in divine order. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Woo, divine yes. order. So <laughs> we are good. Hey, we've dropped the link to Ilona's page on the comments. Um, Life Dimensions by Ilona. You can go and visit her. Ilona will be back. Please ask your questions. Again, this is a platform for conversation, for learning. Yes, I am inviting more of a specific group of people, but I am very aware that everything that we talk about is applicable to every human being because we all are the same. And as you said, we are one. This has been wonderful. Ilona, we will be coming back to you for more learning. It will be my pleasure. Yes. Uh, much love and many blessings to all. Yes. Connect with us, whatever you need. And in the moment, just reach out. Yes. We are here for you and you are not alone. alone. And you bless, we bless your children, bless you. you and your children. We bless them with the ability to stay connected to their power already you doing the work to come back to yourself is going to support our children in staying connected and not having to go all the way 20 30 years in confusion to have to do all this work sister it took me five years that was too much <laughs> it took me a long time that was a lot but we're together let's share and um stay connected because you matter. Our first episode, let me remind you. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I was forgetting. Hey, you want to stay connected with us? Let's show you now how you get to the website so you can sign up to the newsletter and get all this good information, know what's going on, and you'll get every single episode starting next Sunday in your inbox. If my super intelligent brother, the other technique. Oh man, he just answers right when I call him. Don't you love that? So when you get to kellyanuzu.com, you have an English and a French site, right? You click on English for uh, uh, our audience here, our English speaking audience. When you click on that, it will take you to the homepage in English. You there you go. If it's your first time, you will get, look at that, the beautiful picture with Elona there. <laughs> you will get this pop-up that allows you to sign up right away and you click on there, click enter, and you're done. Otherwise, you can do the same by scrolling down. So I'll tell you a little bit. When you get to this page, this is the homepage in English, you will also see the latest shows, right? These are the Sunday shows. Every Sunday, there's a new show that's going to be dropped here. We dropped the, the, the first two ones for you. You can already go sign up and then you'll get a reminder when it's time for the show. And then when you scroll down, 
you'll see subscribe to my newsletter. This is the fastest and quickest way for you to stay connected. I will be sending you um, at least one email uh, um, a week. My intention is not to bombard your email. I hate it when people do that. So <laughs> I'm very intentional with the information that we share with you. Uh, but this year will allow you to receive all the episodes and then the reminders for the lives, like the upcoming lives. Hey, do you know, also here down uh, on the page, this is the information on the upcoming live. So in the next few days, I will post the new information on the next live that I'm working on bringing to you. By the way, parents, Synthesis, the next live in English. Oh, you do not want to miss it. She is a lady from Ghana and she has, you will not believe it, an oh, an or a non-governmental organization that is focused solely on supporting the well-being of single parents. Yes, there are organizations like that in Africa. And I'm so excited to have her. But yeah, there you have it. That's how you get to the website. And in a few weeks we will have some tips and videos on top of having the ilonas of the world come talk to us live we will have tips and videos from our expert you see them it's my facial magician as i call her fifi uh, muna akwe from togo is our naturopath and moduse from senegal is going to be giving us some workout tips easy tips that you can do to take care of your body because we are really creating a platform where yes we get real about our mess but then we also talk about how do we make it better thank you so much you stay connected much. thank you ilana thank you, thank you love and joy to you ciao domestic violence it was very difficult to talk at the spell of the moment Wow. So anytime it happened like that, he lost his temper, he would slap you, he would hit you, he would beat you. Depression and suicidal thoughts. I had suicidal thoughts because wow. I felt like, you know, um, this is not the life that I had dreamed of. Day-to-day -day realities, finances and managing the children's need and many more topics. African men and women originally from seven countries who live in Africa and in the diaspora. Afric Emotions with Kelly Amuzu. It's every Sunday at 4 p.m. GMT on kellyamuzu.com, on YouTube and on Facebook.